Russian Doll is back on Netflix after three years. We are back with Nadia and some time traveling adventures. So let's talk about the new season on Netflix. How's it going, movie watchers? Thank you guys for stopping by my channel. Today we're going to talk about Russian Doll Season 2. I didn't think we would get to a point where we'd see Russian Doll once again, dating back to February 2000. 19. That was a great first season about reliving the same day over and over again. Very claustrophobic, very simple, just a really enjoyable first season. Season two expands so much on the first season that it becomes a bit clustered at times. Unfortunately, it does kind of fall upon the typical sequel where it's not as good as that first season. It tries to be a little bit bigger, but ultimately doesn't create that same charm but still is a really great season this season finds nadia and alan delving deeper into their past through an unexpected time portal in one of manhattan's most notorious locations at first they experience this as an ever expanding era spanning adventure but they soon discover that this extraordinary event might be more than they bargained for and together they must search for a way out. This is all about family legacy as they go through many different time periods and it all relates to their families. Even Nadia being in the body of her mother in the 80s. It all has to do with some coins and how Nadia can shape her own future and protect herself and her family as well. The themes of family in here are very strong as we get several scenes with Nadia's mother and her grandmother as well. By doing this all, we see how Nadia became who she is today and her past has shaped her, but there are some moments in here that are truly affecting her relationship with her mother and her grandmother and she wants to fix all of that and she's really focused on that and we see her trying to fix things along the way while also dealing with the fact that she is in the body of her mother it does provide for some really crazy moments and some really odd scenes when you really think about what is exactly happening between her and some other characters that she meets along the way. It's a bit weird, um, but that's what Russian Doll does so well, is that it provides this wit and charm to it that makes Nadia and all of the characters fun to watch. Even if they are put in some really obscure situations, that's the joy of it all. See this development along the way that also pertains to family legacy. Alan is also going through all of this and he is discovering more things about himself and his family as well. He quite enjoys this body swapping to the point where he likes to stay in certain eras whereas Nadia is using this as a tool to shape her future and uh, the first season kind of had this this living the day over and over again as like a punishment whereas season two this train that they are on can take them to different time periods is almost like a tool instead and Nadia is using it as a tool to uh, make sure that her future is changing whereas Alan is using it as a way to learn more about his past so the two have different objectives and they are put into different situations and it's fun to see how they both react to different time periods it does get a little bit clustered at times with so many different time periods, so many different characters, Nadia playing different people, being the body of different people, same with Alan. That's where I feel like season two does fault, where season one felt more simple and very grounded and claustrophobic. Season two really expands on all of that. It's trying to recreate that same charm, but just does not do that. It's very clustered, very confusing at times. Uh, we are often seeing younger versions, older versions of these characters without a warning and different time periods from this bus. So things do feel very abrupt when it comes to the characters, the family of Nadia when, with, with her mother and her grandmother as well.
Nadia is trying to free herself of her family's burden, but also trying to figure out the clues to everything. And it does provide some uh, deeper moments for this character as she's realizing things about herself and her family. There's some emotional moments when she realizes things just can't be changed. They are stuck in a certain way. The quick wit and humor from Nadia is often there, but much more exploration of her emotion in season two compared to season one. Maxine is in a few episodes and she still is very funny, a uh, really odd character, but I think that she is a friend that everybody needs. Russian Doll season two is very bizarre compared to the first season, it explores a lot more, but I love that focus on family legacy and how Nadia is trying to shape her future and free herself of certain pain. War at, whereas Alan is trying to learn more about his family and himself as well. And I really like that about Alan's side of the story, despite it being almost like a minor thing to season two. It's much more focused on Nadia and her relationship with her family and uh, these really odd scenes with her and her body of her mother. Don't want to spoil too much more about what happens, but it doesn't just stick to the 80s explores other time periods as well it does feel a little more clustered and then season one it tries to do a lot more and that's just typical sequels that they always try to do something bigger than the first movie whereas regards to season one but it still works nadia and alan are still really likable characters it's very smart but it's just a little clustered and too all it's a little bit clustered it's a very smart, but it's a little clustered and kind of all over the place. So before I give you my score for Russian Doll Season 2, make sure to check out my channel. Here I do movie reviews, trailer reactions, ranking videos, tier lists, all that fun movie-related content that you see on YouTube. I do it all here, so hit that subscribe button and get it all in one spot. I'm going to go ahead and give Russian Doll Season 2 a B. Thank you guys for checking my review for Russian Doll Season 2. Have you guys seen it? What do you think about it? Let me know in the comment section down below and stay tuned for more up and coming content like this. My name is Just Watches Movies and you guys stay classy.